Alrighty folks, I have lots of people always asking you about setting up their welders. I think I would make a quick five minute video, hopefully it's five minutes, we'll see, on how to get your welder kind of in the ballpark. Uh, I'll probably make a longer video explaining some more stuff and how I do uh, the processes in it. But for now, I know a lot of people are always talking about how they're welding and it looks like bird poop. So let's try to address that so you guys can get a can kind of get the ball rolling on a, a, a nice weld, let's say. For my purpose in this video, we're just going to use my small welder. This is the one I use for sheet metal always. Ye I could give you the specs on it, but it means nothing because I don't know how many of you guys have like a MIG Pack 140. You might have, uh, who knows, like, like over here I have like a DECA. Uh, there's tons of different brands. So this one's going to be mainly the video I'm going to do now is just on this one and it's going to explain. I do have gas, flux core. It's probably about the same process. The welds look different, but it'll be kind of the same idea to get you into the ballpark. Uh, sheet metal is a different you know a different beast but over heavy metal but anyways we're gonna start with this one i i don't run a lot of gas but i don't have any wind or anything around so i'm only running like 10 cfh or whatever it is on my gauge my gauge shows a 10 so i'm usually right around there for my gas and then uh when i start it depends how hot and what i'm trying to do so for me anyways we're gonna start hot normally if i'm welding i can weld on a b c I'll show you the differences without actually getting into uh, dealing with wire speed and stuff yet. We'll just kind of just generically pick some wire speed and uh, we'll go from there. And you'll see the differences. They all have their purpose and sometimes I, in the middle of a job, I'll flick from one heat setting to another. But then I kind of know where to zone in my wire speeds and stuff. But let's get into this quick here. All right. Hopefully I don't bump this too bad and you can see this. So we're gonna go heat setting A and I don't even know. We won't care about our wire speed. The one thing to know if your wire speed's wrong, if <clears throat> if you're welding and you find the wire, it's, it's burning into your tip and it's getting stuck and welding itself into here, your wire speed's too slow. If you're welding and it feels like it's pushing, then your wire speed's too fast. That's kind of how I distinguish between those. And then the heat at that point uh, like you can turn your heat up and then it'll do one or the other. So every time if you do a sock weld Like like I got my wire speed slow and I'm don't have any heat. I'm on a I don't like that personally I'm a B C guy on my welder. So we've changed nothing with wire speed. We've just gone up to B And you can see the the, the weld is much flatter now now we can go to C and like you can see even we got some a lot of penetration there too so i've done nothing with the wire speed yet but now that the heat's up i'm sure see how you're not getting a sizzly bacon kind of thing it's welding good but you wouldn't be able to lay, lay a weld and it'd be pretty hot so for the sake of just listening that's kind of where i'm going with this is if you listen it'll sound like it's struggling See, it doesn't sound very smooth and it's, it's slowly kind of burning back. So we'll go up about half a number on our wire speed. There we go. See, it sounds nice. They always say the term sizzling bacon. I don't know. If it was too slow, I'll go way, way slow here. See how that's like way slow. But we can turn the wire speed up as we go. There's a nice sound. See, that's pretty good. Oh yeah. Ignore me burning holes because I'm <laughs> just trying to demonstrate. I'm running on C, which is pretty hot, but but if it's too fast, I hope this makes sense to you folks. See, listen to that. And now we'll slow the wire speed down. There we go. So it's not relevant to my my heat it's the wire speed helps that now so now i'm going to go to a a you can get a decent well with my welder a anyways so we can get some decent penetration and stuff like that so for here we're going to do a and uh i don't even know 
I think we got the wire speed set on A. So this is my lowest heat setting on my welder, 2-3 wire. We got good penetration. You know, it's a lot of heat, but it's not bad. You could still spot weld this, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that helps you folks. I hope it does. At least it gets you out there and trying it. Gives you something to experiment. A lot of it is sound, and if you can't really see what you're doing, don't be afraid to get your face right into there to see. And sometimes you can't, uh, you, you need a light because it's just, there's just, it's not bright enough around you. Like sometimes when you flip your helmet down, you just can't see, but if you put a light on, you can just see it's so much easier. I don't know folks, I think that's what I can tell you. If that helps you and you're able to get somewhere, let me know in the comments, it'd be nice to know that I'm actually helping somebody figure this out. <laughs> Anyways, I think I've run over on my time that I was saying this was gonna take. Uh, let me know what you think, guys. If this uh, helped you out, got you kinda, kinda out in the garage and working on your welder, that'd be awesome. Anyways, I, uh, this is where we're gonna leave this one. I'll, uh, I want to thank you folks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.